I'm really excited to be back at this ancient oak tree that we did some work on back in January and it's really lovely to see signs of life, the buds are swelling so I just wanted to check up on it and also it's a, such a cool example to show you how ancient trees hollow. I know that when you see these hollow trees it's, it, it can be a little bit unsettling and especially when you're climbing them but it's actually be a, a remarkable process that ancient trees undergo and even without the heartwood it's pretty strong. So in here once upon a time would have been the heartwood which is actually the dead part of the tree. It's decomposed, it's been broken down into small wood particles that would be fertilizer for the tree but in this case it's got a lot of it's lost a lot of its dead weight so it's less susceptible to the wind throw. I really want to show you inside this tree so come with me I just have to be very careful that I don't dislodge anything in the process. So this is what it looks like from inside the tree There was, back in January, a whole load of fungal fruiting bodies on the inside, but here we are in April and absolutely nothing. Lots of beetle holes. But what we've got over here is actually one, two, three, four live branches. So it's quite amazing that you've got this very small strip of bark and inside that on the inside of that you've got living cambium and xylem and phloem but it's quite a relatively small area of this whole trunk and yet it's supporting all this living growth so it is a proper testament to the ancient trees